Okay, hopefully this will be fine. Anyways, I hope my computer isn't lagging right now, but whatever. I'm just going to show y'all stuff that I have. Uh, I can also probably prove that I actually do a lot of stuff, a lot of work that nobody really even knows about. But, yeah, first I'm going to start with the most recent, which would be whatever's on my desktop, which I hope actually doesn't have anything that shouldn't be here. But, yeah, it looks good. Oh, there's actually one thing that shouldn't be there. Well, anyways, um, let's start with this one. That's basically nothing. Um, Mictroid Prime. That's the big map, everything stuff here. Um, yeah, so this is gonna take forever, and I'm pretty sure, um, in game uh, pictures I take will have spoilers, anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and show you these right here. Um, actually, I think I already put this on the website. Yeah, I did. Well, anyways, uh, this is a thermal, thermal visor. Like, you're going to have thermal and x-ray visors. Or visors. I really don't know what they're called. That word is all internet. Or whatever. Forget that. Anyways, yeah. And yeah, these are the blocks for them, too. Um, right after I made this, I kind of quit because of... Uh, you know, if I could make this a good game, and uh, oh, yeah, I could make this a good game regardless, and have these blocks, you know, look like this when you have the thermal visitor on. But then again, I could, um. You know, instead of using some sort of data in the background to make a stage, uh, I could just have a whole single image load, and then I could make the thermal visor be uh, more realistic, and like all this space down here would just be, you know, dark because it wouldn't have heat, but the heat would be trailing over here because that's where the heat would be. And maybe have the whole room kind of a little brighter or something. Or whatever. But, yeah. Sometimes I think I think about having too much quality on stuff. Which ends up making uh, nothing happen. These were little ideas or stuff I had. Uh, I thought there was more. I guess not. Basically, you know, slow more ball thing. These are the ramps you can boost up. These are the spider rails. That's the grapple beam. I used to call it grapple beam. Actually, I think I still do call it grapple beam. And then these are the safe stations, whatever, some doors, some decoration above. Uh, water, ice, whatever. This is junk. This was actually supposed to be sort of like artifacts, but it looks dumb. And this red thing's supposed to be, uh, if you shoot it, then it'll blow up the blocks next to it. And, you know, just random stuff, ideas. Um, what else is there? New Craft 3DS. You already know what that is, if you pay attention. It's the blocks and stuff. Um, that's a new painting I made. It's kind of outdated now I guess if you know what that painting is supposed to be uh, I got a feeling I'm talking too quiet <clears throat> but yeah these were the current sprites there's diamond chests and stuff fossils crystals and yeah um that's I don't know it's probably the old ones uh, Smash My 3DS Bros. Brothers, I guess. I was just reading it. Yeah, that was uh, something I was thinking of making, which is just like Super Smash Brothers, but using the character from Metroid, uh, Platformer, and crap like that. 
Super Defense 3DS, that's that defense thing I had. The new one, I guess, yeah. A uh, stick, that's a oh, sticking defender. Uh, spoiler. Uh, I, honestly, those two bosses, I don't think they actually are working correctly, but I never fixed it. And when I say working correctly, I mean, uh, it's supposed to do stuff, whatever. It's not important. It's old news now. Um, rockets, stuff. The newest thing I just did, which is actually uh, today, was this little potion thing. It looks nice, but, you know, in order to make an RPG or whatever, it's, it's going to take a long time. But, uh, uh, this is basically inspired from, uh, shit, what was the name? Ikachan, I think. Yeah, I believe it was Ikachan. One of the eShops, so I'm not going to bother to look at uh, Actually, I forget it. But yeah, Eva Chan. Uh, Project Metroid Prime. These tiles are basically, you know, I mean, I keep, whenever I clean my, the desktop and have everything organized, I still just keep new things going and never keep it organized. So um, I was having these two recent folders to uh, try to help with that, but I just don't even care. Um, this is a game I was working on, which is an awesome game. Actually, this loading screen, I made this and the loading screen before I made this new, uh, website version. That loading screen came from this game, I guess. Um, now that I actually am playing this game again, I feel like I should finish it. But, um, basically you're stick people, or a stick person, and, uh, you can uh, basically jump. Uh, that's supposed to be spinning. Uh, I guess it wasn't spinning because I wasn't moving left or right. Uh, that's because of programming reasons. Uh, there's a guy who's always after me. That 20 is his health. Click the enter key. I will not come back. And then I can do that again. Oh, my. It's supposed to be in slow motion, actually, when I hit them. I don't know why the slow motion isn't working. Well, that kind of sucks because I can't show you. But yeah, the slow motion though. The base, the main reason why I stopped working on this game is because I don't know how to do real slow motion. And when I say that, I mean um, when I when I did make slow motion for this game, I basically was skipping frames. So like, uh, if I would have punched this guy really hard to the right. And if it was in like really slow motion, he would basically be right here, then disappear, and I guess be all the way at the other side of the screen, because I punched him really hard, and it was in slow motion, which skips frames and all that crap. So I was looking for, uh, I was trying to figure out how to, um, you know, make people move in slow motion, but keep the frames the frame rate, you know, good, so that when it's in slow motion, you see them actually moving slowly, uh, instead of just, you know, disappearing, like, whoop, 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 whatever, but, um, <clears throat> that's the main reason why I stopped this game. Of course, you know, looking at this and imagining it for the 3DS browser, uh, you're probably like, oh my god, that would be really awesome, or something, but, yeah, it would, but, you know, if it's made properly, this is just a little, that background is not really the background of, of what I planned. I was planning to make it like probably any other regular stick fighting game where, um, well, not, well, you know, like, you know, you would make a stick fighting game or at least, you know, never mind, forget it. But my theme was like in a laboratory or something, you, you break free, and then, you know, a million people try to come after you and stuff like that. And, uh, the idea, though, slow motion wasn't just to look fancy. You would hit them in slow motion, but your speed would probably stay the same. And uh, that means uh, you would basically move fast. You know, that's the only way you can move fast in the game is if everything around you went in slow motion. So I did plan to make it where uh, maybe you play a stage and um, 
you know, you, you get a lot of upgrades. You upgrade to, you know, I guess move faster, which uh, means you upgrade to make everything around you move slower. And in stages, I plan to make that affect time too. And uh, I thought about making it so that uh, if you upgrade really, really, you know, good upgrades and stuff, then you can probably beat stages in like one second or something. You know, I thought that would be nice to, you know, just to make that. And uh, on top of that, um, uh, what was I going to say? You beat stages in one second. Oh, yeah, the replay. Um, I wanted to, I planned on a, trying to make replays for this. So that, you know, if you keep it, everything in slow motion, which basically you have to do in combos. You got to punch somebody, they go and, you know, it starts the slow motion thing. Then you have to go find somewhere else, someone else, punch them and all that crap. But, uh, you know, if you saw a replay of that, or at least, you know, zoomed out, then, uh, you know, if you're moving really fast, then the replay would basically show you, you know, far away in a map going boom, 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 like in one second. And then you, basically you just see all these stick people just die at once or something. Because, uh, you know, playing the replay with your speed, whatever, yeah. You get the idea. Or at least I hope you do. That was uh, something I made, but I, just, I mainly stopped that because I don't know how I'm supposed to move things around in slow motion. And keep the frames up. Um, hopefully... Yeah, never mind. Uh, this was a loading screen made a long time ago. It's a nice loading screen, or at least much smaller. Oh, uh, this was a map of a game. This was before Metroid. So, um, yeah, of course it looks like it would be a Metroid game. But, yeah, but, um, these sprites are not just sprites. You can guess them. This one, though, is actually a door, but it's going in the background or the foreground or whatever. So instead of going left and right and up and down, which at least is in Super Metroid, uh, you would go through the back door. So it's more three-dimensional, I guess. But yeah, you'd start here. You'd, this is a ship that you're in. So this is outer space. You'd come in here, land, I guess, right there. Then uh, these signs tells you what to do. Of course, you can't go up that ladder there, but so you would open this door. The sign will say something about computers. This computer would basically do something, but it would pull down this ladder and not do anything with the laser. So you would basically walk back, go up the ladder, go over here. Um, that would be, uh, I guess, a, oh yeah, a switch, a switch for this laser. And uh, if you look closely, this pixel is gone. That basically means you would fall down there, you know, just to screw with you or something. And uh, if you didn't read this sign, this sign, no. Yeah, this sign will say about the switch. This sign would say some blocks you can pass through, but it's behind this one. Uh, it's yeah, it's behind this block where you would fall down. So um, you would basically fall down, hopefully, not knowing that you would fall down. And then uh, you know, you could either continue over here or go back to read whatever that sign said, and that sign will basically tell you. When it's too late about the block. Um, you actually have to unlock jumping. Uh, in this thing I made. But yeah. Then there's this too. And some more little traps right there. Uh, you would be able to harvest. Or grow food actually. In this game. I don't think I would do that in Mictroid though. Because I mean one. You know this is a whole different game here. I could use. And another thing is. You know, farming stuff is kind of not Metroid like. Well, maybe in platform, remember how to do that or whatever, but yeah. And then there's just some doors. This is a force field right there. Nothing's behind it. This is basically a harvesting room. Um, that's a little robot thing. And that's the save room. And yeah, the style of this game is pixelated style. So even the save text would be. You know, you might not even be able to read it, but you can get an idea what it means. And then uh, you'd this would give you jumping abilities. So if you didn't notice, all all of what you just done are on top of these ramps. And yeah, and another spoiler thing, whatever. That 
I believe I, my idea was a bomb or something. This little pixel right there. So yeah, that's I was there. That's not, you know, something I did on accident. And you just continue doing stuff. That's a disabled door. You can unlock it by the computer or something. That's the aqua biome. A random food thing so that when you're playing, you don't have to backtrack too far to, you know, grow food and stuff. Um, that's a, like a beehive. This is stuff that you need bombs for. And, excuse me. It's, uh, you know, for decoration, it looks like the roof fell in. And it goes into a really tiny room right there. Aquabiome. Basically, there is water. Um, yeah. Just basically, there's water. Uh, the idea here was to actually go underwater through this door. And then over here, then you, uh, you would be able to breathe more. So, um, you know, if you're running around, if you're looking everywhere, trying to figure out what to do, eventually you might just say, screw it, I want to see what's over here, and then you'll be like, oh, I could have been here the whole time. Um, yeah, this is, uh, more water stuff. Uh, I had an idea. I guess it's this one right here. You just basically go down, activate the switch to make the water flow, uh, drain out or something. Uh, the idea of this was, uh, you activate one computer thing, then it turns two other computers on, and then one of those two computers will turn two more on, and then one of those, you know, just repeats, whatever, and then eventually it would unlock this door. Um, yeah, let's save room, then nothing. Never went that far. Uh, these little sprite things with, you know, detailed whatever. That stuff I just never finished. I probably made that maybe two years ago. Up to two years ago. But just never f uh, finished it. What is this? Oh, sprites of a player running. Oh, yeah, that's in that. Uh, that's in the thing. Shard blocker. I wonder if this works. Nope. <clears throat> Let's see. Golden black. That's uh, that doesn't work. But I'll show you in the gimps. When I show you the gimp stuff I have, I'll show you what gold and black was. Um, but yeah, you know this is a lot of stuff already. I guess a lot of stuff I deleted. I think I've deleted too much. But I wanted everything to be clean, and uh, I believe I deleted uh old games I had. Which, by the way, this was one of the old games I made. I think I called it high links but I deleted the codes and I just don't have that game anymore. It worked on a Wii browser as far as I know, and so did this one. This was a <clears throat> this was a game I made for the Wii. It wasn't really made for the Wii U browser, but it worked on the Wii U browser. But um, a pack of zombies that one of those games I made was uh, from this game. That I made a long time ago. And then this, if that's animated, I don't know if it, yeah, it is. It was not a part of a game, but it was just a little picture I made, a signature. Four websites for the internet. <clears throat> this is a full map of a uh, Hybo Collect Light. It does not show the crystals though, but it shows you the whole map. Oh yeah, I mean it's detailed too. It's not like uh, well this is a different one. This one is a more uh, this one is um, this image has transparent edges, and that was so that um to basically make a light effect, which I never done. But um yeah, I mean I painted this whole thing. Every all this I might do that again. Someday, I don't know, but doesn't work fast on a 3DS browser, that's for sure. Am I missing something? Nah, not really. This, that's just nothing. Well, I'll go ahead and show you a close up of it. Uh, it was tanks, and you got like, it, whatever. 
Zombie cave background. Don't know what that. What is that? I did not make that. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, thought I was making a cookie clicker thing once, but never finished it. Game intro. That was a old thing I was planning to do for like a like a shoot. Yeah, craft 3ds or platform armor. So the games that are like part of the actual website, I thought about making an intro every time, but uh, I stopped doing that. Stopped putting part as a, of a website because uh, it uses too much uh, 3ds browser memory crap. So yeah, this is a. It was this was one of the ideas for a chat box, for uh, like I give it color, you know, but yeah, I, I didn't do that. Um, these are codes, but they're on that bracket thing, which I don't even like. I use Notepad, which I don't even like Notepad either, but I don't want brackets. That was something I had to pay for. Um, star stuff. Block run. What is that? Oh, it looks like it's just text. Explorer, or, 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 or whatever. Um, I'll sh I'll talk about that when I do the GIMP files. Uh, Christmas, what is that? Oh, the Christmas sprites in Craft 3DS. Browser, defense, whatever. I'm pretty sure whatever this is isn't going to work. Oh, it does work. Oh, this is a very early version of Tower Defense 3DS. It looks confusing though, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure none of these other things work. Nope. Well, that doesn't even, oh, that's nothing. I guess that was just the uh, ideas I was making but never finished it. <clears throat> backup, that's just backup stuff for the website. Um, yeah, other stuff. These are, um, I was thinking of a dragon, uh, some crap coin thing. That's what that is. <sighs> Cookie getter. It does not do nothing. Lincardia. Does not do nothing. Oh, yeah. I was going to do a card game. That's what it was. When I say that, I mean a gold. I mean a gold. I mean multiplayer, but yeah, I never did it. I don't do memberships right now anymore, but um, if you look closely, really closely right there, there's actually a smiley, a smiley face, and that's actually in the original gold thing. Like, uh, if you see the gold text, that's that smiley face is there. That's, yeah. I guess you can say that was an Easter egg or something. Not anymore. Um. So this one, I believe, is uh, eventually became Big Gray World. So, I mean, stuff like that, I'll just skip. Uh, I believe I did miss. Uh, don't need that. This is just a little more organized stuff, but it's nothing really. Medallion Dragon, that's actually what I was going to call that coin dragon thing. Um, I don't really believe that much of these work because of... Uh, for through this browser speed, I use get image data and put image data, but I can't do that locally unless if it's some other crap that I don't know. But yeah, tank 3ds, whatever that is. Plain simple zombies, whatever that is. Platform or cards, whatever that is. Pla whatever go. Uh, I believe that's the that tile version. But yeah, these folders most likely aren't empty. You know, it has some stuff in it. Yeah, this was going to be another zombie game with zombie dogs. So, zombie serving, that was what it would have been called. Zombie serve online. Oh, yeah, I remember I told people about this on the website, too. It was, a uh... Crap, I totally forgot about this. I'm not kidding. So that's another zombie game. And I had animations for the zombies to come out of the ground. 
And oh yeah, these are the sprites for that Zombie City game. I'll probably do this before Zombie City, I guess. I wonder if anything works. Oh, barely. But it's just more proof that, uh, you know, I work. I do a lot of work on uh, the website stuff. Oh, yeah, I got this World Survival or whatever that's called. This was a, um, it was basically, it was going to be a survival game like, uh, Don't Starve. I know that by Don't Starve Together. So whenever I see Don't Starve, I'm like, why isn't it Don't Starve Together? But yeah, that was it. This is plants basically leveling up to, like, it goes through a long, long growing process. And then it just makes one little tiny thing to make it much more harder to survive. That was probably going to be the player, maybe. I don't think the index does anything. Nope. <clears throat> Tank 3DS. I'll also just look at it. Oh, yeah, I remember this. And I remember this because I put it on. It was only viewable by me. On like the home menu and stuff, but yeah, it was just gonna be another little tank game. It's nothing. In it. Oh, I think this one came. Yeah, a pack of zombies. I called it. Plain zombies, simple, whatever, but yeah, that was, that was not the name on the end. This, it's a new photo. This is just, uh, whatever. These sprites, or this game, yeah, the sprites, they turn out to be really good. I got disappointed after, uh, I basically finished, well, I mean, I was programming it just a certain way, and yeah, that's, Whatever. Nothing. Uh, media. Gimp. Oh, this has a lot of stuff. Um, I mean, well, a lot of art crap I've been doing. You know, throughout time. Um, yeah, those ads I've done. Damn bosses. I don't know what that is, but let's see. Oh, yeah. I was going to make a game just, I guess, called Bosses. Or Bosses 3DS, for the heck of it. And you would basically just play the game. Like, the, the whole game is just bosses, really. That was the idea. That was, I'll, that was a spider, by the way. I don't, P2. I don't know what that is. Oh, I don't know what kind of game I was thinking about making, but I was thinking of uh, Kirby and the Crystal Shards when I made the, the, those graphics. Car Race, that was... God dang, what is wrong with Oh, well, it's not cars, but... I was first going to make a racing, car racing, multiplayer game, whatever, but then, because of problems, you know, multiplayer problems, I eventually made that into the trip space thing and just had online rankings. I believe this is a, the one I said I'll talk about later. Nope, it's not. Actually, that's the that zombie one. City Builder, you know, just City Builder again. I was gonna do, but never did it. Collection, that's nothing. Cookie Getter, that's, that's nothing. Got through this block, so obviously that's nothing. It's nothing, nothing, nothing. When I say nothing, I mean they're, I think they're the logos. Yeah, logos. 
drop water. Uh, this is going to be like a cookie clicker game or something, but you're, you're supposed to drop water or make water drop, and uh, that's just the sprites for it. Never finished it. Entire. Oh, that's the. I was looking for this. This is a uh, Hybo Collect Light entire background. I don't even know why I did that. I mean, it's going to take a long time to load. The video might be lagging too while it's on. Oh, but I can show you that lighting effect I was talking about. Um, that I never done it in the game. Hopefully, I can, yeah, there it is. You would walk around and then it would have that little light effect when you're, you know, traveling. But, um, I never done that. Or never fixed it that way. Explorer. Or, no, Explorer. I was, I was thinking of platform armor. This is the one I was going to talk about. I'm going to put the grid on so it's, I don't know. I just do that. Basically, in this game, it was like you're a, a cave person. And you're coming through the top. You have string and you have hooks. These gray things are hooks. These are torches so you can see. And basically, you'd come through the top. And then um, string will be a lot more expensive than hooks. So you would want to put hooks everywhere and go along the top or the roof of the cage. Until eventually uh, you probably get down to something like this. And then you'll probably be like, okay, I'll just, um, you know, just go to the bottom, you know, the string, whatever. Um, yeah, yeah, I might have made it, you know, to make it harder for players. That if you go on a string too far, you know, the string might... You know, I might have a weight-resistant thing, so that would break. So I guess that would actually make more sense than just making rope expensive. But yeah, that's diamonds. Uh, I don't know what this is supposed to be. I guess iron, dirt, or I don't know. Then you go along here. This thing right here is uh, like a like a uh, boards or something. Like, you know, like a little platform thing, so you won't fall into a hole because uh, you most likely would not be able to jump. Most likely would be a keyboard little game, like a like a turn game, I guess so you can say. So if there's enemies, you know, if you move left, the enemy moves left, and actually that would help a lot. That would help insanely a lot for 3ds browser speed. Just you know, updating graphics when you click one button. And this right here is more uh, boards, and it's just to go past the water, and then um. Yeah, you can see that the rope is kind of dangling there, and then there's more rope right here. But uh, when I make sprites, I usually, most of the time, maybe all the time, I make it, like when I make any kind of art or when I think of any games, I'm also thinking about how to program it. And for this, I most likely thought, I'm not going to deal with it. You know, I'm just going to make the little sprites look like that. And if I program it, it'll just look like that too. And that was it. This was a game I always thought was nice. To make, but um, I never got to it. Uh, I think the main reason why is because I have no idea how to make uh, make maps like this randomly generate. But you know, I could have it as a little fixed thing, whatever. Uh, this was a since of uh, 3 browser speed reasons. This was going to be like trip. It was basically going to be like one of those little old games, and um, this is the bird, and um, yeah, it's just. You know, you, you should get the idea. Oh, there you go. You get the idea now. Oh, I really need some water, but... Uh... Oh, yeah, there is a pause button, isn't there? Font Comic Sans. This was, um... Uh... I've done things, like, uh... Using this. To make, um... Try to make the 3DS browser have more than one font. But I never got to this right here. But, um... I'm sure this took a few days, though. I mean, I have the codes for whatever I was doing, but trying to figure out crap, you know, it takes time. That's just character stuff. Um, I don't know what this looks like. Oh, it was that car. It was eventually it became ship space, I believe. Game intro, I already showed you all that. Game and loading, I believe that's the same thing. Holy crap, yeah. I'm just going to assume those are the same things. Gold and black. Uh, I, believe, I believe I did say a while ago that I would show y'all what this was. 
but now I can because it's here. Basically, this. Oh, no, nothing. Uh, basically, though, uh, I'll just show you. You would basically, uh, it's just like a little platformer game or platform game. And you would just, when you move, it will light up your surroundings so that you never know, like, what you might run into or whatever. But actually, up here, no, this one isn't it. I must have another save file somewhere. No, this is it. Um, what was that circle thing? These are some sprites. That's the player. Uh, that's rock or poop. I don't know what that's what. The gold, maybe? Yeah. Um, I don't know what this is. Uh, I guess or enemies, turtle enemies again. A little booster thing to boost you up. And um, actually, this is like a kind of a different version, I think. Or at least when I made these sprites right here, I was making shadows so that um. Yeah, like, as you can see, there's no gold line right here. That's because it's supposed to be just plain black there. And represent, like, shadows. Like, the shadow blocks the lights. More enemies. And, like, right here, too, it'll just be black. And when I say black, I mean, um, you won't know what's down there. I guess I could have made it. Like, this is where the sun is. But once you go in a cave, it would be like what I just showed you a while ago. A sign and a grass. That's basically it. A heart. I'm pretty sure that's a whoops. Hero serve. That's basically just those players. Mictroid, uh, the guy on Crap 3DS. It was basically for um, Super Smash Brothers for well, whatever. Home icons. I don't know. Infirmity logo. This is more logos, by the way. It's um. Old logos with peanut games. I no longer use that name. But, yeah. <clears throat> this style right here, even though it's later than what I just showed you, but this was, um, was like, a, like the background of the words. It's like a kind of like a cave. And that's because of those peanut games. And peanut's actually something like a ruby or whatever. Metal Dragons, you already saw those coin things. Met Choi 3Ds, is whatever that is. Um, well, it was basically another Metroid sort of thing. So that's the animation. It's more detailed animation, actually. It's, you know, if you're running, it would go through all these sprites. And, you know, yeah, that was more detailed, but it doesn't look as nice as, as a Metroid turned out to be either way. Um... Metroid serve. Oh yeah, this was that big one. Uh, let's forget it. I made it available, so. Oh yeah, this. I don't know what this is. I saw this a while ago before I made a video, but I, I honestly I don't know what this is supposed to be. Oh wait, no, yeah, <clears throat> I remember. Wait, yeah, it was mini map example. When I read this a while ago, and even just now, I was reading it as mini map example or something. But yes, yeah, is mini map. Uh, I don't know why it looks weird like that though. Uh, what is this? Oh, I think this is what. I, Eventually, basically, came uh, that. No, this. It was, I guess, it was something I was gonna work on, but decided not to. Might have been related to Rocket 3DS, though. Rocket, yeah, Rocket 3DS. <sighs> Paper box. Oh yeah, this one is a. Uh... <clears throat> looks nice, that's for sure. It looks like, oh man, that's. You know, I could have did something with it, but yeah, there's a million things I could have done stuff with. I just, I never finished it. 
but like this, you know, there's no character, and it's just, a lot of stuff is because the 3DS browser sucks, I'm not kidding. Like this one. I don't just forget it. I don't know. But yeah, these are these are boxes. Yeah, they're not house. They're boxes. Uh, I guess my, I was going through. I guess I was thinking of a, a Paper Mario pixel thing. I don't know. But yeah, these are boxes. Makes sense, you know. The title is called Paper uh, Paper Box Pixel. RBG. Oh, this was a. Um... Okay, I don't know what this one is. Dang it! I I remember, but I don't remember. Oh yeah, this is a. Uh... These red things come out from the side of the stage, and I believe I don't know whatever this is right here. You would uh, have to move it. Oh no, it's just it's a square. Yeah, it's just, it's just a little square right there. Yeah, you would move the square, and then it would move to one of the four corners. Whenever you know, depending on if you if you push up, down, left, or right, and then uh, you have to avoid the red things. But besides that, this was uh this one right here was a zombie game, but pixelated, because I'm not really good at art. Um. You know, I guess stuff like this, I should just make for the heck of it. I mean, you get the idea, I guess. You're, um... You were that... This that was a block right there, you see? So you move the block, and then it would warp to the other corners of the map, but... If you touch one of the red things, you'll die. But... I mean, it seems like a kind of dumb thing for a game, though. But, you know what? I mean, I guess... You know, there's a lot of dumb games people make that people like for whatever reason. So, you know, that might have been a fun game, I guess. Sprites for the second Craft 3DS. Which is kind of the same, but it had water sprites. Records. I don't know what that is. Uh, what is this? I guess this was. This might have been related to Tower Defense 3DS. Mainly because this red circle is that symbol of the enemy. But I don't know. What... Records. Records. This might have been. Oh! This is, uh. Achievement icons or whatever. You know, if you played Air Race Xeno or Air Race Speed, you know, they had little icons for the achievements you made. Yeah, that's what that was supposed to be for. The records. Shard blocking. I wonder if this is an old one. There is nothing in here. Nope, that's the new one. Oh, actually, that's not the new one. That's the semi-new, old, whatever. I, don't know. I was thinking of SpongeBob real quick. Um, yeah, that's... Fake, some cookies, something dark. What the heck? I don't think I remember doing this. That looks cool, though. I guess it was that Metroid copy thing. Not kidding, but that's that was dark. Like I can't, I can't even see what I was looking at. I guess I was probably gonna have a light effect or something. I mean, this looks nice. I don't even, I, I don't see. I don't think I even remember that at all. <clears throat> that thing again. I have a lot of those. That's the third one, I believe. Oh, that's the star. Oh, man, that looks so nice just to paint on the paint thing. I am going to make something like... <sighs> I did already plan on making um the new paint app I'm going to make whenever I make it. I do plan on having templates and stuff like this so that uh, you could just color it in or whatever. And not just that, but having uh, users make their own or, you know, just, you know, I think of a lot of crap. 
of Stick 3DS. I don't know if I talked about the stick fight thing yet, but this was sprites I made for it, but never finished it. If I do make that... St uh, never mind, I have a lot of plans. Well, a lot of plans, but I never finished everything. This was the original background or whatever for Craft 3DS, or the new one, but yeah, that looks ugly now. I think I'll look... Was that... Yeah, sync icon. It's nothing. I was just talking out loud. Tankers, whatever that is. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a multiplayer game. Oh, this is updated. No, oh, no, it's not. Well, shoot. I don't know which one I made. Oh, what the heck? Well, anyways, this was a multiplayer game, or going to be one. And uh, this right here was a, uh, you know, it was a turn-based one. You're a tank. And let me get the color one. You're a tank, and then uh, you would shoot or turn around or whatever. And then you could plant these little bombs, which the other players can't see. So they kind of have to memorize where you went and hope they don't land in one of your uh, mines or mimes, whatever. And uh, they have to avoid getting shot. And um, yeah, that was the idea of it. But the reason why I never made this, even though it was a multiplayer game, and I know that people like multiplayer player was because of just multiplayer problems I was having with 3DS. And not just that, I really don't know how to do multiplayer period. So making it for the 3DS just means it's much more harder. Uh, this was the same thing I guess, just with uh, yeah, just better detailed sprites. This, I guess this was a later version. Uh, as you can see that yeah the sprites which it was a lot more detailed than what I just showed you. GD title. I guess that's tower defense title. Thing. Let's see what thing is. Oh yeah, the thing. Um, it's literally thing. I'm not kidding. Uh, I don't have a background on here. I remember I made a big background once. There might be a thing too. I guess. No, there's not a thing too. Basically, this was just going to be a retarded game. I'm not kidding. You're just this player that probably just inhales, exhales a lot. And then these things are... I mean, shoot. It was literally retarded. I called it Thing. Yeah. I mean, they walk... They would walk funny, too. It would, they would walk probably like that. Just weird. Yeah. Tips. I don't know what that is. Oh. Tips for tower defense. I guess that's it. Yep. Zeta. Zeta. Oh, that was, uh, this is actually the, the example thing I made a long time ago before Big Gray World came out. Then I decided... Well, I mean, it's not that I decided to make Big Gray World just gray, but I thought of making, you know, Big Gray World and then making a different game that's multiplayer and, you know, make that one colored or then make a different one maybe and have that one, you know, just, you know, just I was thinking of having more than one game. That's why Big Gray World is gray. I planned on having a another one, like just, you know, variety or whatever. Well, that's all the GIMP stuff, I guess. Let's go ahead and look at this. I think I skipped it. Oh, yeah. This was going to be... It's, I don't know why I called it... Bl oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know why I called it Bloft. But, um... Yeah, I was thinking about making, um... Since... Long story short... This was going to be Craft 3DS, but more 3D or whatever. And what I mean by that is, um, as you can see, regular, oops, I don't know why that just pushed. Undo that. There. Oh, that didn't help. But anyways, this is one side of the block. And then... When you're moving, that side of the block is right there. And this is a different side of the block. And that's how the, the second 
layer of sprites worked it was rotating the block but as an image so yeah i even tried to make a uh, i don't know if i actually programmed anything for this one though but i did have an idea of making craft 3ds 3d looking or whatever but i never got to it well i, I know that's it for this uh, that's it for everything i believe notepad plus plus i don't know if this oh that's that's notepad stuff but yeah <clears throat> i do feel like i might have erased a folder on that soon or something because i I have a lot of crap I've been doing throughout time, but a lot of it's, I don't know. Well, that's it. Hopefully this video uh, works properly because I've been recording for a while and um, I do have a 1080p and crap, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, oh yeah, fairy tale, uh, fairy tale 3ds. You're probably wondering what that is. Um, recently, I played that one game. There was a demo of an eShop Fairone or something. And then I thought about making a. I mean that that game they have Fairone, I guess if that's what it's called. That's I'm not joking, but that's that's something that is really easy to program, but it's 100 times harder trying. Actually, you know what? That's easy to program, period. It's the sprites, you know, and stuff that I'm not good at making. I am I know I'm pretty decent at art and crap, but I hate making art so bad. So, um, yeah. Hopefully, though, if I make Fairy Tale 3DS, which is kind of just a simple, you know, a game like Fair Rune, I guess. But uh, if I ever make this or if I ever work on the sprites for it hopefully it would be a lot easier because I mean I'm not kidding when I make when I make sprites and stuff like this after I do like like this right here I mean I guess I wasn't too tired after I made it but I, I just hate being on a computer now but um yeah I do plan on making a stick game, though, or a realistic, I don't know. Long story short, I've, I've drawn a stick, pl a, pl a stick person on paper. It's pretty nice graphics, actually. I mean, I'm, I used to draw all the time, but only in real life. I never had a internet until, like, uh, Maybe a year before the 3DS came out, or... I don't know. I remember I used to have a DSi, and I just... I used to go outside and go to someone's house or something to... Not in their house, but next to their house, because they had Wi-Fi. But I just... I never had anything. Until just a few years ago. But, yeah. That's probably why I don't like making art on a computer, maybe. I do have a tablet. Or is it... Yeah, a tablet. Or bamboo pen, or whatever it's called. Um, but I don't even like using that. Even, even if I use that just to draw stick people, I just, I don't like looking at a computer screen anymore. I just have to draw it in real life and then take a picture of it or something. But, yeah. Doing that means, uh, there's no undo, redo, and it's harder to take scribbles out. And it's more work if I just want to make, make it look, forget it. I'm tired. I, my throat's hurting right now because I don't have any water in there. But yeah, um, that's everything really. I mean, I wouldn't say everything, but it's what I have that I can find, I guess. But yeah, I mean, it's a lot of work. I'm not kidding. At least for those GIMP files, the art and crap I've been making, that does take a lot of time. So, yep, yeah, that's the end of that. Uh, might as well just see if there's anything here. I'm the only one online, like usual. Um, yep.
I don't want to do something I shouldn't do. Okay, read this. Want to be mob? Visit daily. Be nice. Post often. Have an account at least three months old. Now, when I say that, I mean for this website version right here. And when I say that, I mean the only thing you could do if you were a mod is just click someone else's comments and delete it. But, um... Before I actually do that, I need to make sure I record everything, so that you know, for mods being mean or something, you know, I'll I'll know if they erase someone's post for no reason, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's basically it. Just delete this. I don't think it even works for a user profile. Now I don't have nothing personal here except mod one save. But I wonder if I, I don't know if I could delete this. I mean, with this version, I know the old version, and yeah, I, I could just delete it. But I mean, on this version. No, it doesn't look, it doesn't look like it works. It, it was only made for the chat one, so yeah, this shouldn't work. But yeah, okay, whatever. I definitely have internet problems, and that, that, that misses me up a lot. But, yeah, whatever. That was everything, or most of it. Oh, here, here's the last one. This is a game I had on paper that I made in school. It was basically a mini game to get coins on your 3DS browser. I mean, it was made for a handheld. As you can see in the background, that's what I drew. Or whatever when I was in school because I didn't like working in school. I just like my mind my own business and draw. Well, not draw, but uh, you know, make game ideas. <coughs> uh, this art style, I actually got sick of it very much. But as you can see, like in the background, minus the arrow, you would basically press like right here. You would press the Y button. It'll make the bridge appear, and you basically do that to make the whole bridge go across. And then, um, I guess there's a time bonus or some crap. I mean, you should literally, literally do this in maybe, like, two seconds if you're a bit, I guess. So I'm not really sure what I was talking about with the time bonus and stuff like that. But, um, oh yeah, it was for credits. That's basically what, like, LP on my website and that's saying, oh, uh, you could buy LP and... So, like, instead of buying LP, you can just play games or something to get credits. Um, that's why that says credits. And you're on, this one is on level 290. But, yeah, it would basically look something like this. This style, back then, was for, um, at least the bridge. I believe I was thinking of maybe Super Mario, how they do the bridge and crap. But, uh, when I made these rides, well... I guess, I don't know. On my 3DS, though, <clears throat> thanks to the Nintendo badges, I actually have something similar, or at least something that reminds me of this. Oh, Nintendo badge upgrade. Yeah. I, I, have honestly, I don't have any idea how much money I spent on that yet. Yeah. I'm... Oh man, I honestly don't know. I think I'm already on like maybe $26 that I spent on that game. Yeah. Whew. I'm not sure what people do that don't actually pay for a Nintendo badge arcade, but shoot, $26. And I feel like I don't have any badges at all. <clears throat> but yeah, there is that one, app, one hour uh, video with whatever I've done. Oh, yeah. That was the beginning sprites of Fairy Tale 3 yes. Which is nothing. By the way, um, um, I don't know. Yeah. I just had this Patreon thing if you want to look at it. <clears throat> this is $150 I of real money for that contest I had, which was a $300 contest. And um, it just basically says, you know, if you donated one dollar, I mean, if you donated ten dollars, it would basically, uh, it would basically be 
one of these eShop cards. But then if you minus one of these eShop cards, you see, you know, there's still a, a lot left. And, um, you know, <clears throat> it just says, shows or explains or makes you understand that uh, even if you do donate 10 or $20 yourself, what really makes a big difference is having, you know, a large community. Let's just say community or whatever. You know, because, like, look. Well, I have, see, more internet problems. But, but, no, no, I can't, I can't, go, I can't go back or anything. Clicking. But, yeah, but, you know, I was the only user online. So, just, you know, sharing the website, you know, that makes a big difference, too. You don't have to actually do the Patreon thing or donate or anything like that. Just sharing will help a lot. That's all with that really. But, that's it.